hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking with your boy, Courtney P. You do not have to kill yourself. Start out walking five to ten minutes in your neighborhood and work your way up. So YouTube, so Birmingham, one thing I want to talk to you guys today about is elderly abuse. And this is a term we're hearing more and more. You know, if you know anybody that's committing elderly abuse, you basically want to tell them to stop because if they're caught, they actually could be, you know, end up serving time in jail. You know, um, there's different financial forms of elderly abuse where, you know, people have basically misled or miscommunicated um, the elderly and signing certain documents um, to get loans or, you know, there's a situation to where someone may have been a gatekeeper on an elderly person's, you know, account or something in some way they, you know, maybe changed information or maybe end up taking the elderly person's money. Um, you know, this is a hot, hot topic, you know, right now. Um, there's emerging every single day in the United States. And then sometimes there's elderly abuse with bad intent. Um, sometimes you may have an older person that lives with you and they're, they're not as independent. They may not be able to wash their hands. They may not be able to take a shower. They may not be able to, to you know, make food for themselves or even make it to the refrigerator, even put some food in the microwave to eat. You know, if you have this, if you're responsible for this person, they're, they're not able to do any of these things. You know, again, um, if the wrong person finds out, you could actually actually be charged with elderly abuse, sometimes in a not knowingly fashion. So I know a lot of people are, you know, against um, nursing homes and nursing facilities, but, you know, if you know you work all the time and you're not able to properly take care of that person, maybe you consider a nursing home. You know, maybe you consider bringing someone in to help you out for a few hours. You know, the main thing we want to do is respect our elderly because, like we say in the South, and like the old people tell you in the South, the old people help raise us. They help make us. So, like I said all the time, we're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it pushing. We're taking care of the elderly. Thanks for walking and talking with your boy, Courtney P.